Hi there, this is Mary Dawn with MD's Jimmel Channel. Welcome to my virtual happy hour. It is Monday and we're here every Monday at six o'clock, even though the pandemic is kind of getting towards under a little bit control. I know here in South Florida, we have bars reopened this past Friday night. Very, very excited. But um, we're hanging in our virtual happy hour bar, or we may be out on the road. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so stick with us. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the little boop alert button so you know what's going on. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out my TikTok. But um, hang with us. You know, not everybody's ready to go out yet, so this is still a cool place to hang out. And I wanted to introduce Miss Judy Gannon. She is not with us today. She's out on the water. Hey, Judy, are you there? Oh, you're not on the water. <laughs> I'm not on the water. I'm home. Well, you live on the water. Yeah, I do. Well, that's I okay. Think, How are you? I can see the water from where I'm sitting. I'm good. How are you? I'm sweating. It was so hot today. Oh, my God. I think, what was it, 96, maybe? I, I I read the heat index felt like it was over a hundred, so I don't know. Oh my God, it is like a toaster outside. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> I love well, your, I love your lipstick. Oh, thank you. Very good color. It's not Kylie because you know I'm not friends with her anymore because she lied about her billions. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Orlando, what's shaking? He wasn't hit with us last week, was he? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I don't think he was. So what are you drinking today, Judy? I know you probably just got out of work, right? Uh-huh, I am. I'm drinking Tito's and Sprite. Uh, I'm doing Tito's soda. There you go. <laughs> you know, we really are the unofficial. We're sponsored unofficially by Tito's, right? Unofficially, we are. They should you love know, us for they as should. much as we talk about them and drink Tito's. They should love us, and, you know, I've got a good friend that works for Tito's, so hint, hint, hint. But uh, we love our Tito's. That's what we all drink. It's true. It's true. Mm. So I haven't seen you in so long, so much to talk about, but do you know what today is? What is today? National Best Friends Day. Aww. Now, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, I miss all my old best friends from years ago. But if any of you guys watching, happy Best Friends Day. Happy, but, happy. But here's my coolest story. This one's going to give you a little eye jerker. So check this out. There's two best friends, these two guys. And believe it or not, my hometown, Rochester, New York. And I, I just saw it on, like, the national news. So it's pretty interesting. See these two guys on the, on the screen here? Yeah. That's Benjamin Smith and Marcus Ellis. They're two best friends from Rochester, New York, who just were hanging out in their driveway because, you know, before today in New York, actually phase one started, but this was a few days ago, drinking their beers in their driveway. Bud Lights was their beer of choice. And somehow it went viral because they've got these signs. You can see relax and have a beer, black or white. So it's called black or white, relax and have a beer. That's their motto. Okay. So it went viral, and they got this crazy, mysterious truck pull up to their driveway full of Bud, Bud Light, Bud Light seltzer, anything Bud Light you could think of, more than they could drink in their lifetime. Wow. Turns out Brad Paisley, the country guy, somehow got a hold of this place in Rochester called like AJ's Beer Warehouse or something. Okay. Bought, out, bought out the whole place, had it delivered to these two kids in their driveway. They were like, what the hell's going on, right? So they're on their Zoom. They got a, a Zoom thing. So they get on the Zoom. It's Brad Paisley. And here's the deal. He's got a new single out called No Eye in Beer. And he had some sort of, um, in conjunction, he teamed up with Bud Light and made these limited edition Bud Light cans that have no I in the word light. Huh. So he also, on the Zoom call, performed his song, No I in Beer. 
Okay. Uh, so these two kids went totally viral. They're sitting there, they're drinking beers with their moms and their friends, and how cool. That's pretty uh, cool. So happy National Best Friends Day to all. Happy National <laughs> Best Friends Day, everyone. They're so cute, those guys. I tried, I called them up, and guess what? No answer. I tried to Facebook. All of a sudden, their Facebook pages are gone. Oh, that oh, happens when people go viral. I tried. I said, listen, maybe we could do something. No, no, no. But anyways, so what's new with you? Anything new out in the restaurant world? You know, yeah. people people are starting to open back up. Lila's over there saying hi. Hi, Lila. Hey, Kevin. And Heather's on watching too. Hey, Heather. But uh, it's, it's a whole new world with everything that's going on in the restaurant business because it, every county in Florida went into phase two except for Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade. <laughs> so they're all still yeah. stuck in the same zone with the same rules and, you know, all of the, all the regulations that are put on them by the CDC and the government. And, you know, the Treasure Coast is doing good. You know, we're, we're getting pushed up and we're, our bars are open. Mary Dawn, you got to open your bars. Yes. Both my bars opened Friday night. It was fantastic. We missed you. I thought for sure I'd see you out somewhere. I know. Oh, I really wanted to get out, but I, I had a really busy weekend. Les was out of town this weekend. So we had a lot going on. It was, it was scary at first. Yeah. A little bit. You know, I mean. I think when people have a couple cocktails, they forget what's going on and they're so happy to be out. And next thing you know, people are like, hey, hug, hug. I'm like, no, hug. No. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a little scary. So what did you have, what did you do? Did you remove half of the bar stools? Did you, what did you we do? Did. We did. We removed half the stools. We social distanced the stools. Okay. Um, that didn't last that long but we tried absolutely we sanitized we have this incredible incredible awesome sanitizer from cheney brothers that um it's you don't have to wipe it afterwards so it's safe okay. and we, we wiped and wiped and wiped door handles bar stools um faucets anything we could wipe we wiped we wiped every 30 minutes that's our thing okay. um, you know, you just, you try hard, you wash your hands like crazy. Um, and, you know, both my bars, it, it, people watching are smoking bars. So that's kind of scary, too. Yes. Yeah. So I did notice a bunch of people kind of staying to themselves. Maybe if they did sit at the bar, usually they were at a table. Because we can sit at the bar, too, here in South Florida. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um it was a little scary, but by the end of the night, it was kind of like this never happened. Okay. Uh, you know, it really seemed that way. And everybody was cool. Uh, there was no issues. And then Saturday was good, too. Sunday was good. You know, it just kind of, um, yeah. And you know what? We were at 50% capacity. I forgot. Lila's reminding me. And she was policing, oh, huh? She was. And we, you know, it's funny because we never had to kick anybody out. Like it was always right around the perfect amount. Like if we got one over, one would leave. Nice. So nice. It was, it was safe. It was perfect. And we just look forward to seeing more people and, and all our old friends, you know? How were the people? Were they in masks? Were they not in masks? What did you see for the crowds? No masks at all. Okay. Um, I did see three or four people with their own sanitizers so they were keeping themselves safe um nice. so that was good um other than that it really seemed like a normal weekend and it was safe and it was good good uh, yeah i'm very glad to hear that yeah me too it, it was really good and i think that you know to our friends in other places watching, it's it's not it's not that scary. As long as you wash your hands, you know, keep your place clean. And the restaurant business, we know how to keep things clean. I mean, we've been taking serve safe courses for years. We know bacteria. We know how to keep things clean. I know this is not bacteria, but 
we know how to keep things clean. So For it's, sure. probably, it's probably safer in a bar than in, say, Kohl's. I, I would have to agree with you. You know, they, 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 I don't see them sanitizing every 30 minutes. No, and how do, you, how do you even do something like that in a retail store by going around and, what are you going to, Lysol everything in the store? <laughs> I know. I, it, so, you know, we know how to keep clean, and we're good at it. So thanks to everybody who came out, and thanks to people that are going to come out. So it was, it was oh. a great weekend. And Dawn I'm says awesome. they are enjoying Cassidy at the gin mill. Uh, you know, that's, that's what's funny about that is uh, – She's been, this is her, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this is her fourth day in a row working, and she's like, I'm in pain. And I am too, you know, we're not used to having this much time off, and two or three days back working, we're dying. We're like, ow, ow, everything hurts. Everything. Everything. Yeah. So that's what's going on with, um, with, National Best Friends Day. So we have, you know what today also is? What is today? It's our gift basket giveaway day. We've had a lot of entries and we have a winner, but I don't, are we announcing the winner right now? We're announcing the winner right now. Yay! And actually I'm looking, the winner is actually in the comments. Do we know who it is? Kevin Higgs picks in. You get the gift basket. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, there he is. Jim, how'd you get him out there? Hi, Kevin. <laughs> You're the winner of the gift know. basket. That's because you entered so many times and tipped everybody so much. You won. <laughs> It might, it might not be, it might not be your regular, you know, Kevin's special punch there, but there's some pretty cool things in there. Mary Dawn's going to have to give you some recipes. <laughs> I'll just make them for you. Yeah, I didn't see any Tito's. Well, as soon as Tito's hops on as our main sponsor. Hint, hint, hint. Anyway, so. Kevin, thank you very, very much, and we'll get that delivered to you ASAP, okay? Oh, wait, Kevin, where are you, by the way? Kevin, where are you? It's funny you should ask that, because I'm sitting at Bogies and Stogies. Oh! Hey, hey, can we talk to some people there? Can we talk to some people there, Kevin? It's funny you should ask that. How's that? It's so weird. That's pretty great. Kevin, can you hear us? Yeah, can I can hear us. Can we There's talk delay, to some right? people? Yeah. Show us some, bring some people over. We want to say hi. He's not hearing us. We want to talk to some people and ask them how they feel about being at the bar. Oh, he's hey, hanging up. Now who's that? Say hi. Say hi to Mike Barry. Oh, hey Mike Barry. Hey, hey come here, hey, Mike. Come here, Mike. Uh, Got to call him. Come on. Come on in. Say hi. Say hi to Mike Barry. Oh, hey, we Mike want to talk Barry. to Mike Barry. We want to ask him how he feels. Uh, they want to talk to you, Mike. <laughs> Who's that? Judy. Hi, Mike Barry. Can you hear us? How's your blessed journeys going? Can you? How are you doing today? Are you having a blessed National Best Friends Day? Hi, Mike Barry. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can't hear us. Oh, are you having a blessed natural best friend? Best friend, best friend, best friend, best friend, best friend. Uh, we can't hear you. See ya. We gotta go. We can't hear you guys. But thank you. Congratulations, Kevin. Bye. Congrats, Kevin. Okay. So, 
I don't know. We couldn't hear them. So, who's bartending at Bogies today? Uh, Grace's. Hi, Grace. I saw she was watching. So, hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> so, okay. So, we're done with best friends, but um, you know what we talked about a couple weeks ago? The word virtual. Oh yeah. Uh, it's back. It's back. Ugh, it's back. Oh no. With now what now? We, have, we now have virtual kitchens. <laughs> I know. So check this out. We've got virtual everything, but now there's a place in Colorado, I think it's Denver, Dish Craft Robotics, that they're going to do your robots are going to do your dishes for you. Well, wow. yes, in kitchens. Well, they're taken after the the new John Taffer scenario exactly. where he has robots cooking the food. Exactly. Speaking of robots, there's also get this one. I, I'm just hopping off the topic. In 27 years, by 2028, we're going to have flying cab drivers. Are you watching too many crazy movies again? <laughs> it wasn't the Jetsons. But yeah, seriously, there's gonna be they're gonna be in the market for sixty thousand air mobility pilots. Oh my oh. gosh. Crazy. But what's good about that is we can drink and drive because we just sit back and drink and they drive. Exactly. Yeah. Hey. It's better than Uber because we're getting flown. That is pretty cool. Yes. So back at Virtual Kitchens in Denver also is where this place called Chef Ready will lease you. There's 10 rentable high tech kitchen stations. So kind of like getting your hair done where you rent like a station, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you can go in there. Say you have a company and you're going to deliver, say, cotton candy sandwiches. You can rent this high tech kitchen she said so cotton that. candy sandwiches, guys. She said that. <laughs> this made it tough. But how weird is that? Because they're saying right now we're at $43 billion in takeout a year. And by 2025, which isn't that long away, we're going to be at $467 billion in takeout. Did, have, nobody's learning how to cook? <laughs> <laughs> they're all robots. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, so that's all the virtual I've got to say. I'm, I'm sick of virtual, but now we got kitchens, we got dishwashers, we got flying cars, virtual happy hours. We already have the virtual dating, so I don't know what's next. I don't know. I don't know either. But I found some interesting stuff. So you did. I did. So I know a lot of millennials, they're drinking old fashions. Oh, yeah. Like when I'm bartending and someone orders an old fashioned, they're either old or they're 21. Well, at least oh. they're moving away from the hard seltzers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you'd think so, but I, I don't know about that. But <laughs> so De Kuyper, one of the, you know, hugest cordial lines there is out there, just announced right here the old fashioned De Kuyper liqueur. Ah. So, Two step process. Ice, pour that in, bourbon, drink. Done. Done. No muddling, no nothing. But guess what? Hmm. Only 30 proof. Oh, okay. But that's okay because your bourbon's going to be higher proof, you know? So it's adding yes, some sir. proof. So that's kind of new and interesting. And this one's really weird. I thought, I thought you know, I was going to call them. Um, Heather De La Sente about this because I know nothing about it, but Metallica. Speaking of Metallica, check this out. This is the Sweet Amber Distributing Company has a blackened American whiskey batch 100 that is all about Metallica. Wow. And with it, you get a limited box set, two 12 inch vinyl pictures of their album covers. Okay. With all the songs on it. It's $149. Wow. Well, you know, it, like you said, if it's about whiskey and heavy metal, 
Heather's all about that. <laughs> Heather, tell us what's up with this uh, Metallica booze stuff because we don't get it. But she's, you know, I, I have a feeling she's going to say, I want to try it. <laughs> she probably already knows all about it. Yeah. So that's her deal. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have known me, they know how much I love purses. And I, I know this has nothing to do with topics and trends in the bar world, but I had to throw it in. So there is, don't, don't she's, show the she's, picture yet. She's a, she's a bag lady, guys, but not the kind of bag lady you're thinking. <laughs> Before the pandemic, Louis Vuitton brands was going to buy out Tiffany. Oh. You know, the little blue box? Yes. Well, they didn't, something happened, I don't know, and now there's a little bit of an issue going on because obviously people aren't buying as much, A, B, all the stores are looted, there's nothing left. Yeah. yeah. But look at this bag that they created. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that. It is the Louis Vuitton amazing Tiffany bag in Tiffany blue pretty gorgeous oh god i love it i don't know why it's got a rip on the side on the picture maybe that's a thing but do you do you already have it on order or are you waiting to go to vegas to order it well, no no it hasn't happened yet oh okay uh, <laughs> hey maureen what's up did you see look at have uh kevin he says virtual sexual positions <laughs> 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 oh relations what are positions Oh my. Where is your mind? <laughs> it's Monday and I'm drinking already because there's nothing else to do. There you go. I worked, I worked all day though, you know. Heather, what do you know about this Metallica booze, whiskey, bourbon? <laughs> Lila so, wants everybody to know she's accepting late birthday gifts. <laughs> well, I don't know. Having your birthday during this pandemic sucks. So I think well, that any... What? Having her birthday on the day the bars opened back up got, was pretty cool. She got to go to bogeys. She actually snuck in under the radar the night before we opened, which was actually her birthday. While we were in there cleaning, she snuck in. And she we did, her. didn't she? She pick, up, she pick up a rag and start wiping. I'm helping, I'm helping. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. But that's interesting. Um... Have you heard about the B12 inhaler virtual e-cig? Not virtual. Oh my God, it's on my head. E -cig no. Yeah. So, you know, everybody's doing these vapes, right? Like, like the puffers? Yeah. Okay. There's a B12 vape that has no sugar, no calories, no caffeine, no nicotine. It's just B12. And what is this supposed to do for you? I guess give you energy. Energy? Okay. I think so. It's called the B12 something. Breathe B12. I don't know. I, e I emailed them to see if we could get some samples brought into bogeys. But, I mean, if that's the next thing, I'd rather see these people puffing on a B12 than something else, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. But the, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm laughing about the weekend. It was so much fun. I can't get over it still. So much fun. So it's hot. And I was checking out summer drinks. Now, I've got one here that doesn't look so exciting, but I'm going to make you a fresh one. This is a rainbow sorbet mimosa and no oh, blender no. required no i just need my uh sorbet gem so basically it is so simple and so delicious and i remember probably when i was little my mom used to always make this punch where she had remember those things that hung on your like your wall in your kitchen, then your mom put fruit in it and made an ice ring. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so for some reason, I always think about this ice ring and this punch she would make. 
And she put sherbet in it and ginger ale and lemonade. It was delicious. Didn't have booze in it. But that's what this tastes like. It, But it's got booze in it. So basically, get your sorbet. I've already pre-portioned it out. And just drop it in your champagne flute. Use as much as you want. I've got orange, pineapple, and lime in here, okay? Oh, yeah. Um, and so I'm going to use about half a glass full. I'm going to eat the rest of that. And then you get some berries. And I'm using my fingers because I'm drinking it and I'm alone here. So a blackberry and a raspberry. Real simple. And then you just take a Prosecco because you want to use a Prosecco on this. Otherwise, it's going to be too sweet. What's Ruthie Clark saying? Ruthie okay. Clark is saying hi. She's sitting outside in the beautiful weather drinking Bon Vive Spiked Seltzer. Oh, the Bon Vive. Yes. We did a show on them ages ago. Remember last summer? Ah. Those are really good. That's another uh, Anheuser-Busch product, I believe. And Danielle says, Mary Dawn, your hair is getting so long. Oh, who said Danielle? Hey, Danielle. Danielle Demurius? Danielle Demurius. Yeah, hey, Danielle. She used to work at Bogies. Ah, it's because Mary Dawn hasn't been to the hairdresser since the pandemic. So her hair is just growing, growing, growing. It sure is. So check this out. This is a rainbow sorbet mimosa. It's Look how got beautiful that is. Blackberry and raspberry in it, a strawberry as your um, garnish. I put a stir stick in because you got to get through the sorbet to get yum. Yeah. And it's really, really good. Mm. It looks really pretty. You always pick the wrong days to not be here. I know. You always decide to do these like frozen drinks when I'm not there. Bust mm -hmm. out your little mini blender bullet thing. <laughs> so this is perfect, you guys. So this can be for anybody. But also, I brought this little rosé by. This is one of my, I know we talked about it. Also, I'm here. This is a Rafino rosé. It is very inexpensive, and it's really good. This would be amazing in here. I think I'd like the rosé a little bit better with the sorbet. But, you know, we'll see. Oh, uh, Ruthie. Yes, you should make this, Ruthie. It is delicious. Mmm. Oh, Ruthie, I'm telling you, I miss your drinks. You made the best Bloody Marys. She used to be at the deck. Remember the deck, Judy? Yes, I do. Ruthie was the best at the deck ever. Ever. Mm. And, now, and now they're closed. Too bad I sold my Martin County liquor license, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. When you get the champagne and the sorbet in it, it's amazing. I'm so sorry. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. I'll put it away. <laughs> so that's that's everything for this Monday. You know, we, we're going to go do some road shows. We're going to do, um, you know, we're going to do things. I, I really want to go visit those guys in Rochester. I really do. What, what are we talking about these guys up here? We're going to show them again. These guys are amazing. They've made my day. They really did. If you didn't hear the story, check it out. Just Google two guys in the driveway, um, black or white, relax and have a beer. You know, that's really, it's really, that says it all. They got the little American flag. Yeah. And you know, they're just two dudes hanging out. Actually, they're in Pittsburgh, New York, which is a nice suburb of Rochester. Okay. Um, with their Facebook pages removed. But um, it's cool. So relax, everybody. Black or white, have a beer. And don't forget to check out uh, Brad Paisley's hit No Eye in Beer and the Bud Light cans that are coming out with uh, no eye with the word light. So that should be neat. That should be neat. Another company that, you know, hint, hint, should be sponsoring us. Hint, hint. Just a thought. 
But what should we do next week, Judy? Should we go somewhere? Yes. Where should I we love, go? I love oh. that idea. Cameraman <laughs> says hard rock. <laughs> That's well, where the cameraman always wants to go. <laughs> we'll see about that. Anybody else we got on there? Who else is talking? Oh, Lila, we know we're teasing you with the cocktail that she made. She's dirty rotten for making things like that when we can't have them. <laughs> anytime, anytime anybody wants it, I'll make it for you. And Ruthie said you can come to her house in Connecticut. You'll love it. Take a road trip there. <laughs> I just might. You never know. Because she makes awesome. She makes better drinks than I do. What? Yeah, she does. She really does. But anyways, you guys... I just want to say thanks for tuning in. We're going to do this every Monday at 6 o'clock, whether it's here in our virtual happy hour bar or out on the road. We'll see what's going on because there's still people that don't really feel comfortable going out. And I get it. I totally get it. So hang with us for 30 minutes or 40 minutes every Monday. And we'll tell you what's going on and let us know what you're drinking. Send us some pictures, send us a video. We'll play it on the air if you want. And um, any of you Tito's people, don't forget, we need sponsorship. Bud Light. We're good at it. We have lots of followers. So subscribe mm -hmm. to my YouTube. Hit the alert button. Like on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out my TikTok. And relax and have a beer. So, Judy, I just want to say thanks so much for uh, hanging again today. And enjoy your Monday Cheers. Night. You enjoy yours too. And congratulations again to Kevin on the gift basket. Super Congratulations, exciting. Kevin. Absolutely. You got it. And thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a great night. Mm.